Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you three shake effects for music videos in DaVinci Resolve. I recommend that you use this shake effect when the bass drops. So I looked through the video and I found three parts. So here's the bass drop and that's why I cut this video right here. Then I go to my second spot. I also cut this video and I cut this video again. Then I go to my first clip and I go into fusion. The first shake effect is really simple, so you only need this transform node and drag it down here. Then make sure that you are at the first frame of your clip. Select your transform node and go into the inspector. Increase the size a little bit so you don't have black edges. Then create a keyframe at the center x and center y value and go one frame to the right. Now change the center x and center y values a little bit. Again go one frame to the right and do the same. And again, you can do this for as many frames as you want, but I would recommend that you do this for like five frames. Okay, after you've done this for a few times, you only have to go to the last frame and reset the center X and center Y values to 0.5. Okay, now go to the settings and check the motion blur box. Now the first shake effect is done. Nice, now I will move on to the next shake effect. So again, you have to select this clip and go into fusion. Then again, we need this transform node. And select this transform node, press shift and spacebar at the same time and search for glow. Select this glow option and press add. Okay, again go first to the transform node and increase the size a little bit. Make sure you are at the first frame of your clip and create a keyframe at the size and center x and center y values. Alright, now go one frame to the right and change the center x and center y values a little bit. Repeat this procedure two times. And then at frame 3 increase the size. After that, go two frames to the right and decrease the size. Also, reset the center X and center Y values to 0.5. Then go to your settings and check the motion blur box. Okay, now go to your glow node. Go to the frame where you zoom in. Decrease the blend to 0. Create a keyframe and go two frames to the right. Click on this little button. And again, go two frames to the right and decrease the blend to 0. So let's start with the third and last shake effect. Again, select your clip and go into fusion. Okay, for this shake effect we need a transform node, so drag it down here. And press shift and space by at the same time and search for blur. Select radial blur and press add. Make sure you are at the first frame and decrease the smooth strength to 0. Then go to your transform node, increase the size a little bit, create a keyframe at the size value and create a keyframe at the center x and center y value. Go one frame to the right and change the center x and center y values a little bit. Repeat this procedure for the next two frames. At the third frame increase the size a little bit. Go two frames to the right, decrease the size a little bit. And reset the center x and center y values to 0.5. Then go to the first frame of your clip and go to the radial blur node. Create a keyframe at the smooth strength and go 3 frames to the right. Increase the strength to 0.4. After this go 4 frames to the right and decrease the strength to 0. Ok, I hope these shake effects have helped you. If so, then leave a like or a sub to my channel. Go watch one of these two videos. And thanks for your attention, stay creative and bye.